Hey everyone, so um, today is a pretty special video. Probably actually the most special video I've ever made. Because uh, today we're gonna make a ring, but not just any ring. Today we are going to be making an engagement ring for Alexa. And we're gonna be doing some stuff that I've never done before, and I'm nervous and excited, but I really don't wanna mess it up. There will be um, some diamonds coming into play later, and I'm nervous about messing them up. Not the diamonds themselves. I mean, you could probably hit them with a hammer and they'd be fine. Really, I mean the setting them that I'm concerned about, because I've never done it before. So I guess, first things first, um, I have two sapphires that I want to facet. So, before we do anything, I'm gonna start faceting those, because I don't know which one I want to go with yet. I guess it depends on on how they are, I don't know. I, I have two cuts I wanna try. We'll see how they look and which one has deeper color and we'll go with that one. But I was gonna facet both of them regardless. So I guess first things first, let's start uh, faceting the main stone, which is the sapphire. All right, the first pavilion is done. So let's get started on the second stone. We finished the first stone, now we are working on the crown of the next stone. So, I'll do close-ups once they're all done. Okay, they are done. I'm gonna get clips on my phone because I can get close. So, here's the first one. This is the Portuguese round, and it is freaking gorgeous. And it changes color depending on what light it's in got like purples in there to all sorts of different blues it's super flashy and bright looks darker in video than it is in person though it's kind of more of a I don't know I don't know what color that would be <laughs> it's a light blue it is very pretty though and I like it and here is the brilliant or those fingerprints it's very pretty really nice deep blue but it's also I don't know it seems kind of plain I want to say bland but it kind of seems bland there's some windowing the other one I adjusted for sapphire critical angle. This one I did not. I kind of regret doing that because, yeah, it's windowing pretty bad. Windowing is, see how you can see that star pattern through it? That's actually the pavilion. You should not be able to see through it so perfectly like that. Here's the downside, though. I'm not impressed with the cut, but the color is phenomenal. It's so nice. Okay, so here's my problem. very much prefer the cut. It's just way more dynamic on the Portuguese round but I very much prefer the color on the Brilliant Cut, the SRB, and I just was really kind of frustrated. They each have an aspect that I like more than the other. So I just went ahead and did another one. <laughs> so here is a much darker Portuguese round, and it has all the cool light play that the other Portuguese round has, except it has the dark blue of that SRB, and I think that is definitely the one we're gonna go with. I am very, very satisfied with that one. That is so pretty. Actually, here once, there we go. I got a little more light in there. Look at how bright that is. Just royal blue, which I know Alexis would prefer the darker blue, and it is that. It's all the dark, rich blue of the SRB with all the amazing color play, well not color play, light play of the other one, the other port. Oh, that is so freaking pretty. So yeah. Um, we have our stone. We can move on to the next step. For you guys, it's instantaneous, but for me, I had to wait a while because I had to order these. These are diamonds. Natural diamonds, and they're faceted. They're very, very freaking pretty, and they're minuscule. <laughs> these are 0.8 millimeter, and they are going to be crucial for the setting we're gonna do. So, uh, actually, this video will be the debut of one of my favorite new tools that I actually haven't shown in a video yet. All right, so here's the deal. We got our stone. Right here. We are going to make a metal band around it, a ring around it, which we are going to set these diamonds in. So we will have a halo of diamonds around the sapphire, which means I need to use my new tool so that we can extrude some square wire that'll be good for that. At the same time, I'm also gonna go ahead and get my band ready, and we're gonna do some different stuff with it. So I want it to be pretty thick. And my new tool is this beautiful thing right here. This is a rolling mill, and it makes my life so much better. <laughs> So basically before, if I needed, let's say half round, half round band, I had to order that. With this, I can take this, which is just globs of silver, and roll out my own half round using these 
or sheet using this or square wire using this. And it's amazing and I love it so much. So first things first, I need to make a thick gauge square wire so that we can cut it up later. It's gonna be our band and I'm going to do a split bridge. So that's basically where instead of just looping at the, like this, it will cut it in half right here. So some of it will come up and then some of it will meet in the middle. And the part that comes up will be what our, you know what, I actually have a picture. One sec. This is basically what it's gonna look like. Like that. That's called a split bridge. And that's basically what our top's gonna look like. Except I didn't order enough diamonds to do this bit right here. So we're just gonna have to make do. But first things first, I don't think I have enough in this globule right here to do what I want. So we're gonna just mix some of these together, make a bigger globule. That's a much better globule. And I hammered it flat a little bit more just so it would feed a little better. We have the material we're gonna use for our band now. This is way thicker than it's going to be, but I wanted to leave it meaty so that I could carve it down. And this, which is going to be the ring around the sapphire. So first things first, I need to figure out the diameter of the sapphire, and we'll wrap this around into a circle. Meow. Yeah. So we have step one done, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get the band out of the way now. So we need to shape this into a seven and a half. We've got our band ready to go. Got some lines marked on and we are gonna go cut it. Okay, so next we need to prepare to put our prongs in. So we've got this ring right here. This ring is gonna be sitting um, around the, the sapphire like that, which means we need to carve little slots in the black marks for the prongs, which I'm going to use this wire right here. And yeah, after we carve the slots, we'll solder it in place and it should be good to go. As you can see, the whole point of cutting those up was so that we could make a split bridge. And then these arms are gonna get bent down. Let me see if I can do this one hand. This ring will be like right about here. So yeah, those arms will reach down and, and hold that in place. Coming along nicely. You know, there's still time for stuff to go south, but it's actually coming along uh, rather smoothly, which is surprising.
that's part one of the hard part. So now we have to take the thickness down because it is way too thick. Just thinning everything out so that it transitions nicely. But yeah, that is still way too broad. So yeah, we'll do that now. I believe the time has come to set the sapphire. And I think that's important to do now just so I can get these prongs out of the way for what we have to do after that, which is the part I'm nervous about. I actually changed my mind. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something else. This is where things get sketchy because uh, I don't want to mess this up. Like, really don't want to mess this up. <laughs> I have only done it once before and that was just practice for what we are about to do. So, we have to take these itty bitty minuscule little things. Oh, get closer. Itty bitty minuscule little bulbers. And we will make a little seat in those dots that I just scribed on. And we're gonna take these which are diamond shaped at the tip and carve out little spots for them to sit. But that's where all the diamonds are gonna go. I'm sure you were wondering at what point the diamonds were gonna come into play. Well, well it's now <laughs> and I'm hoping I don't mess it up because this is, uh, yeah, this is scary. in advance if I don't film much of this process. It is very stressful. These things are minuscule and I do not want to lose any of them. So yeah, <laughs> might just be showing befores and afters. I did this side already. Need to clean it off still. See if I can get them to sparkle for you. This right by under my finger is where we've put them already. And they are so dang pretty. They're filthy right now, but they're so pretty. So what we're doing is very, very, very carefully dropping a stone into the spot. Then because we did it the way we did, where we used the ball to make the spot, then we used the diamond tip one to carve the little spot next to it, then I carved out the prongs essentially, came back with this to undercut underneath the prongs. So basically the stones like snap in place, and then for extra rigidity I'm using this, which is a burnishing burr, and I'm just rolling those prongs over top of the stone so that they're extra, extra, extra secure and it's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> but it is extremely stressful and these things are absolutely minuscule. I'm gonna pick this up extremely carefully. Yeah, the little tiny dots are what we're working with. So I don't know how to film this. <laughs> Genuinely don't know how to film this. So I might just um, show the burnishing part. I think now we can go ahead and set the stone. I just didn't want to have to work around it to set the diamonds on the band, like this little ring right here, but I think we're good to set it now. Okay, so when the when the prongs were up, it was a little too cramped and I didn't know how much room I was gonna have, so I did not put any diamonds on these spots right by the prongs. But now that they are bent over, I think I have enough room to maybe set some there. Hmm, I think I do. 
I think I left enough room. <laughs> Regardless though, um, one of our next steps is I ordered more diamonds than I needed for the ring, for the halo, specifically because that means now we can take the diamonds and set some down the sides as well. So I know I spent all that time cleaning this up so it looks nice and sleek and smooth. <laughs> but I think our first step is actually going to be taking a file or one of my burrs so that I can make sure that these little faces are flat because that's going to make uh, life way, way easier for setting the diamonds. If they're beveled, I might slide around a little bit, which I don't want. And while we're doing that, I'll debate on if I want to put some here or not. I think I do, but yeah, I think I need to amp myself up for it. <laughs> diamonds left which means I have just enough to put one right next to each prong and then I think after that we're ready to tidy up and polish Alright guys, the moment is here. We are ready to buff. Normally buffing is like your victory lap because it's the final thing that has to happen before you're done. This time I'm scared because <laughs> it really is going to test how good my, my pav setting is on all the diamonds because yeah. And I don't, I'm out. I have one left. With, with We optimized the amount of diamonds we had. <laughs> so if I lose any, uh, there's not really any do-overs. So I'm going to go very slowly. It's done, but there's one more thing we have to do. All right, now our silver is ready for the next project. guys well there it is it's done and it is uh so much prettier than i was hoping that it would come out yeah that came out much much nicer than i was hoping for <laughs> i was terrified of those diamonds setting those diamonds was really really scary but man they look so good my camera nor my phone's camera could really pick it up very well but man when they're in the sun just full-on rainbows surrounding that that sapphire I am so happy with this. Oh my gosh, it came out so good. So I guess all that's left to do now is uh, give it to its rightful owner. I'm waiting to do that until our trip. We are literally about to leave to drive to Florida 
which we've never done before, which is super exciting. Probably do it at some point along the trip or in Florida. I'm not sure which yet, but <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to record the moment, but I don't know that I'll be able to. We'll see. So I guess whatever happens uh, next in this video will either be the moment or right after the moment. So I'll see you shortly. Hey guys. Guess we just found a four leaf clover. And it's literally like the biggest one and the tallest one in this entire patch. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, guys, we so we are set up in Missouri. Sorry about the wind. Look at this fancy Yeah, you see that behind my head, that bright glow that I'm not gonna show all the way because I don't want to blow my camera up. <laughs> we're watching the eclipse right now and we are in the path of totality and I'm so excited. So we're gonna get a little clip on Alexis's phone right now because we have a filter over her lens. So it's so fancy. It's the most efficient filter in all the lands <laughs> of all the places. So. Uh, do yeah stuff. We're the, gonna do the thing. The thing. Picture that thing I just said. Uh, if we, we can't take videos. It won't focus. So pictures, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna show on camera. I'll get a, another clip once it gets closer. I think we're about seventy percent visibility right now, or coverage. I mean, visibly darker than it was. And the, the sky even longer. looks less blue. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's the temperature is dropping. It's a cozy like 65 right now. Okay, it's been 10 more minutes. I hope you can hear them past the wind, but there's birds just singing everywhere. The crickets are loud. The cows are grouping together and it is so much darker. I won't really see if it's showing or not until I can edit this, but I'm hoping you can see how dim it's getting. <laughs> Here, let me try something really quick. Yeah, I don't know that you'll get to see that, but it's worth a try. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. We are like, five minutes away from totality and it is visibly darker like quite a bit darker and yeah the animals are all just making their bedtime noises and it is almost there we are so close so so close hey, hey you hey girl hold on i'm girl. trying to take a picture of the baby cow girl you hi having fun yeah yeah this is crazy you guys oh it's happening it's happening it's happening, it's happening. oh my gosh it's happening. Wow, it's so dark. Oh my God, this is so cool. It just got so dark. I'm so happy I started recording at that moment because it, oh look. Oh my God. Dude, can you take pictures, Alexis? Wow. Oh my God. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, this is nuts. This is insane. This is so cool. All the cows are bedding down. Wow. Like, speechless. Literally. This is absolutely crazy. Alexis, are you getting pictures? Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Everything looks just wild right now. It's so dark and it's like two. How happy are you we rescheduled by two days? I am. <laughs> this is so cool. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. Total eclipse. You gotta put it on. Wait, <laughs> yes, yes. Love you. Love you. I hope I got the shit right. Oh my gosh, and it's ending. I'll turn that right. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> right as it's getting lighter out. Wow. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the sun's back. Who turned the sun back on? Oh God, I looked that better. Why <laughs> did I do that? All right, Alexis, can you show the ring now? Yeah. And I'd like you to look at the camera and say, hi, my name is Alexis and I just got punked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know, I couldn't not end that on a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I was wondering if I was getting punked first. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs>
you've done that to me a couple times. Yeah, I now. have actually. It's really, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I may have cried wolf too many times. And just like that, it's starting to get bright again. That was so cool. I'm so happy I was recording at the moment that totality happened because it got like so dark so fast. Oh. Well, what do you think, Alexis? Was that worth the massive detour? Totally worth it. That was super fun. <laughs> and was I got so a ring. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that too, that <laughs> probably a helps a little bit. Oh, so cool. So freaking cool. I have to hold the camera at an angle because she's so much shorter than I am. I'm standing at full height and he's not. We have arrived in Florida. Yep. Some time has passed since the eclipse. Um, you haven't any buyer's remorse yet. <laughs> okay. It's been almost 13 years, so we are engaged now. Officially. Like Officially. We, we've been together long enough that we started planning before anything, but... we were common law married at this point, yeah, so, but... But we figured this is the year to make it actually official, so... Thus, ring. And you like it? I love it. Wow, Hold look how it, different it looks in the different light. That's so cool. And you like it? I love it. That was... Very stressful the whole time. There was never a single point I was really confident other than the faceting, and it wound up coming out so much nicer than I was expecting. And what an experience uh, doing that of all things during an eclipse. Yeah, that total was eclipse. so cool. Speaking of, we've I've experienced several eclipses in my life, and I always thought everyone that freaks out about total eclipses was just blowing smoke. No. no, it's it a whole so different experience cool. when you're in totality. It's insane. It is like the, one of the wildest things we've ever had like experienced together. So yeah, thank I you like all. your angle. Yeah, I have to be side like angled like this, <laughs> otherwise I can't fit us in. Yeah, together. I'm on tiptoes right now. <laughs> and I'm leaning, I'm slouching, and yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for uh, watching this adventure of a video that took place over the course of like four months. So yeah, yeah something like that. Yep. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, I meant shoot, so our height We're difference wasn't even all the way in correct. Florida, so expect some adventures coming very, very soon. Some of which we've already done, which are very awesome. Some of which are waiting to happen, and some of which will be happening on our way back. But there's going to be a whole lot of videos coming from this series, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. And yeah, we'll have more wedding updates coming soon, because there's some really big stuff happening yes. there as well. <laughs> so I will keep you guys posted. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.